the pressure's on. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I, I'm recording now, but Elizabeth's sitting here watching. I don't know. I, I feel like I have performance anxiety for a podcast. This is the first one with a live audience. Like a live studio audience. This is like Cheers. It's like an episode of a sitcom. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Give me a, a, a applause break, Elizabeth. No. I don't even know if that picked you up or not. Here you went doing the... No. All right, yeah. That's so. not, <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, that one no. probably picked up there, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fuck. All right. Chilling. They can't hear you on this. So, okay, uh, Elizabeth wants me to say what happens every time she watches me. I eat massive shit, right? I'll be on a run of shows. I'll be killing it all over the place, and I'm feeling really good. And then she'll come to a show, and then it looks like I've never done stand-up before in my entire fucking life. That's why I never... I didn't invite people until, like, my second or third year of comedy. Never. The moral of the story is... Don't invite people. Yeah. These open micers that bring 20 of their friends to the open mic, get out of here. Yeah, that's a good way to go last, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you get shuffled around, you just get fucking buried. Right. Yeah. And you will lose friendships in the process. Yeah. I've lost all of my fucking friends. I don't have any friends anymore outside of comedy. It's horrible. Yeah. I miss normal people. Once in a while, <laughs> they try to reach out to me, and they're like, hey, uh, what, are you, what are you doing? And I'm like, yeah, well. And they sound like that. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> they sound like a daytime DJ. Hi. Drive time in the morning. Hey. Well, the one at 2.5, the normie <laughs> FM. <laughs> you think people are calling you to be your friend. They're just telemarketers. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much what it feels They want like. your social security number. No, they it. want me to like, hang out with them. I'm sorry. I'm sleeping at a rest stop in Missouri right now in a Ford Focus. <laughs> I've ruined my life. You know what? That's actually been happening on the road, too. Um, yeah. And like, I'll ran- it will be like some random, like, we can curse, right? There's yeah. Some, so, fuck. It, yeah, some random, <laughs> fuck, be, fuck, fuck. It'll be some random fuckhead like, who I haven't talked to in like five years, and they pick like the time I'm about to get on a plane yeah. or about to go up on a show. Do you know how many times I've had to like turn off like my phone and put on airplane mode? Otherwise, yeah. it, like, it'll call or interrupt the recording or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happens, you know, that happens time. right? It, yeah, it, constantly. It, it happens constantly. Calls yeah. happens, and they cu- interrupt the video, everything. And it'll be like someone who I haven't talked to. And I'm like, really? You picked right now? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'll be I'll Absolutely. be like bored tomorrow while I'm waiting for my flight or something at the airport. Call me. Then. Yeah, that's when I want the phone call. Yeah, no, yeah. it never comes when you want it. Actually, Kate Hart usually calls me. Kate <laughs> fucks mine up. I try to think who what other comedians call me and fuck mine up. Uh, it, you know, I, I try, I, you know, I like people call me. I love that guy. Uh, yeah, he'll do it, and then uh, my friend Elliot will call me, and it's like I gotta make sure I'm in airplane mode. I'm quite the popular person. I have two friends. <laughs> call me. I, I mean, you are the Kevin Bacon of Brown. Yeah, I am, dude. I have a, I collect them. Like Pokemon. I'm like, what's the uh, what's the from the Elvis movie? Like <laughs> the the general or whatever. Oh, Colonel. Uh, yeah, Colonel. It wasn't. I forgot his name. He had like some weird like Bond villain type name. Yeah, like, it's Colonel like a Colonel. Y- yeah, 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 Colonel Sanders, dude. Tom Hanks doing the worst accent ever. Yeah, I'm just a uh, Tom Hanks going around trying to uh, find my brown Elvis. I'm, I'm, I'm more of a Chet Hanks fan. Yeah, Chet though. Hanks. So that's his son, right? That's yeah, like that's yeah. the one who's just been saying a lot of stupid shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, a uh, Northwestern grad, by the way. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Sick, dude. Uh, uh, I know we both have done improv. I had a friend who did improv for a while. She graduated the same year Damn. as Chet Hanks in Northwestern. Tom Hanks shows up, and he's got like a baseball cap on and a hoodie. Yeah. He looks like the Unibrommer. It looks like he's a uh, B-Rabbit from fucking 8 Mile. <laughs> <laughs> to throw it up. Rita uh, Patek is smoking yeah. crack right now. I'm smoking all the time. fucking smoking big crack. Like, oh, yeah. You want to introduce yourself? We're three minutes in. Nobody knows who you are. <laughs> well, it would be weird if I did it. Yeah. Everybody, it's my friend Pratik. Yeah. He's so vibing. I'm, I'm not dead. We're chilling. He's out here. He did some fucking shows. Yo, yo, yo. I'm yeah, alive. Uh, anybody who's Bostra. listening to this, like, oh, God, what happened to him? I'm good. Nobody nobody whacked me in the corner or anything. This isn't like Goodfellas or anything. I'm Dude, good. my dog is like uh, <laughs> bouncing off his balls every time he turns around. That is great. true. Yeah. <laughs> like going down. That's yeah. the only damage that my body took this weekend was a ball attack. Yeah. It, so if you're a comic, you stay over my house. My dog's going to bounce off your reproductive organs. <laughs> it's like fucking horrible. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It felt like jackass, honestly. Like when they, they just like yeah. flick each other in the nuts. Yeah. That's what my name's like. Milo, and this is bouncing off of comics balls. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Yeah. Down, down, down. No, but it's been fun, man, staying up here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In this illustrious attic uh, that ha- that has like that weird like push pin yeah. light thing at night. Oh, it's. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Favorite. Have you seen the little boy yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, there's a little boy up there that fits to see in your sleep. I have it's seen like, the sick. silhouette of Dan Dosimo's face. Because yeah, of the yeah, poster. yeah. Dan's up there, dude. Shout out to Dan Dosimo. Yeah, my, dude. My Dan roommate ha- at Limestone Comedy Festival. Oh shit, yeah. dude. Yeah, he he uh, he haunts my dreams. <laughs> That's this is about him and Ryder haunt my dreams. Like, woo. <laughs> yeah, we went to a child's museum <laughs> when he was here. Yeah, we should have did that. It would have been even like weirder because like 
Uh, those guys have boyish energy. You have man energy. We, we, we both would, are just some grown ass men. Yeah, we would yeah. look like we're trying to abduct the children. <laughs> oh, 100%. Look, yeah. And I, here's the thing I used to work at schools. Like, I look yeah. like I should be seven feet away from the school. Yeah, yeah. Instead, yeah. I'm seven feet negative in the school. Like, yeah, it looks like you watch schools now. That's like a fucking, <laughs> like, the watcher. The watcher of school. Or like that, the old man from Home Alone 1, like the, the snow salt guy who just yeah. walks the streets. I was going to say, yeah, it was really Home Alone vibes. Dude, the thing about living in Chicago, I went to the Home Alone house. Was fucking you, go to home, you went to Home Alone house? Right? Yeah, yeah. It's Up just in like, Will Met. Yeah, Will Met, dude. Shout out Will Met. It was, Shout uh, out the Met of Will. They don't really take care of it. I, I don't know if they have overgrowth so they can like you know hide the fucking house. So I've only gone around Christmas, and I wonder if they do a little more. Like, did you go around Christmas? I don't know. I just kind of went up there a couple times. So yeah, so like around Christmas, like there's usually a line of cars. Yeah. They're a little more welcoming, but they don't want you like there too long. Yeah, somebody's house, dude. Yeah. Uh, but they actually like it. It looked like they had like a little wreath. Uh, it looked kind of like the house yeah. a little bit more. You know what I mean? So I don't know if they did something to it. To dude, you know what's a pretty sick house in Chicago land, North Burbs, dude? Yeah, John Wayne Gacy house. <laughs> they leveled it. It's like so, dude. It's crazy. It's like a normal like Midwest neighborhood, like middle class, like working class neighborhood. Yeah. And then there's this badass fucking house. They got the land cheap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder. I wonder why they got the land cheap. Is it buried on some sort of like you know burial ground for dead kids? Or yeah, I wonder. Uh, We're talking uh, about Native American kid, dead yeah, yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Native American kids. I, I don't know. I think he was like really a little white boy. So it's kind of this thing. Yeah, he had yeah. a type. Yeah, dude. And like Filipino. When he, <laughs> yeah, when he was done, he was throwing him the Des Plaines River. Like he's <laughs> like, I ran out of room in my crawl space. You remember uh, Ray Holub, comedian Ray Holub? From yeah, Stern? dude, that guy is fucking crazy. He does a John Wayne Gacy bit, and I have this audio somewhere of like we did this like fake podcast commercial, yeah. like fake podcast sponsor for for John Wayne Gacy's child clown outlet, basically. Yeah. And it just I put in psycho clown music, and it's him going. I'm John Wayne Gacy, and I will not. But for, oh, I'm sorry, I will not entertain your <laughs> You're child. You're doing an accent that sounds like a guy we know. That, it's a, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wasn't. Gen, I really wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> 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 we knew, take a drink. We knew one was coming. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. No, I so was trying. That's literally the voice that. Oh, you Ray actually Olive did there. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. I dude. mean, Gacy had kind of a southern accent. Just a little bit. Was he from Chicago or was he from? He definitely spent time in Chicago, but as we know, Chicago is a hub for every fucking right, yeah, person. Yeah, dude, L and L Tavern. You go there, you can sit in a uh, fucking uh, Jeffrey Dahmer's chair and watch kids you, walk up and down the street. Can, you can sit in a chair that he probably peed on. Yeah, you can look at a jukebox that he probably punched. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> There's holes in the drywall they probably leaned on. Yeah, dude. I dude that bar. I can't tell. Is it a gay bar? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I can't tell. It's a pedophile. No. It's, yeah, it's a pedophile I, bar. They do a comedy show there, which yeah. if, you're, if you're gonna have a comedy show, you should choose a shady bar that murderers were. In. Yeah, dude, it's but it's a good comedy show. I used to go watch it. I wasn't good enough to get on Shout it. Shout out to Red Lobster. Uh, what do you mean you couldn't? Like literally, they will. You walk in, they'll put you on. Dude, I don't know. Everybody there was like fucking murdering. I don't know. I guess <laughs> is it like bad? I don't know. It's uh, it's one of those shows. It's sort of like the comics like after table kind of hangout room show. Yeah. I've walked in though. Do you want to go up? I'm like, no, I'm here to hit on forty year old women. Can we do dude, that, please? Dude, I want to. I want to. I want to get up there. I don't know. I love that show. Shout out to Red Lobster, Alex Clay's, yeah. Joe Lazelle. Uh, real Lobster. quick, uh, John Wayne Gacy was from. He was just from uh, Norwood Park. His whole life, he killed. Uh, he killed. Tor tor or he raped, tortured, and murdered uh, at least thirty-three young men. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. The, original, the original Me Too was John yeah. Wayne Gacy. Hashtag cancel John John Wayne Gacy. He's no longer allowed. To <laughs> Cancel Gacy. Yeah, no more Gacy. Should I beep that out? I don't know. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's up to you, man. I don't know. I don't care. I mean, I'll let you cares? do what you want to do. But that's a good episode title. Hashtag cancel Gacy. Yeah, ha hashtag, yeah hashtag cancel Gacy. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, dude. Fuck, I'm going to write that down right now. Mm -hmm. Hashtag. Hashtag. Now you sound like Mr. Mackey. For oh, some Okay. I, mean, I feel like these Miller High Lifes have been uh, fucking hit me. Miller High Lifes and then these Michelob Ultras. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. It's a Michelob Ultra. Sorry. Different white trash beer. <laughs> fucking. All right. Let's see. Okay. Uh, here's some. Uh, let's read some fun facts. I'm going to type in fun facts about John Wayne Casey <laughs> and see what comes up. Yeah. It's crazy, dude. Uh, at first, uh, I didn't want to start a comedy podcast and it accidentally turned into a oh, what's your process. And now it's now uh, back to being fucking. Off the rails. Off the rails. Dude, we're having uh, fun, man. I had a couple of my friends on. They talked a bunch of shit on people. They were mm -hmm. all big boys. Yeah. 
And uh, one guy said, oh, oh, no, the plus sizes are coming after me. <laughs> That's what I called. That's kind of uh, offensive, too. To the plus yeah, side. no, dude. They're fucking racist pieces of shit. <laughs> All right. I'm from the fat race. <laughs> it's All a right. race. All right, here we go. Here's some, you ready for some facts about John Wayne Gacy? Let's do it. All right. Uh, he, uh, <laughs> wait, what? Uh, John Wayne Gacy was a married father of two. Very cool. That's an active cool. member of the JC's charitable organization. That's a big charitable. Yeah, organization. hell yeah. Highly paid manager of three Kentucky Fried Chicken outlets. Holy shit. Uh, people called him the Colonel. So, yeah. What's in that of, secret sauce, man? Yeah, what's yeah, the other 50 spices or whatever? Oh, as a God. child. Yeah, it's, All right, it's the tears says, of a child. Uh, oh, here. He uh, had impulse. He said that he was aroused by the sight of a naked male corpse. Hot. <laughs> um, I mean, when you think of Kentucky Fried Chicken, you think of deep fried naked male. Torso. Yeah, dude. That's a, where do you run to a naked male corpse at? <laughs> Finger licking good. Yeah, I'm looking for bullet points, dude. I don't want to read his whole life story. I bet John Wayne Gacy cooking up children is the reason they changed it from Kentucky Fried Chicken to KFC. Yeah, you know KFC. that, right? Like they can't be called yeah, KFC Kentucky. killing fucking it's, children. <laughs> it's not real. It's not real chicken. It's real boys. God yeah, damn dude. it. Yeah, dude, I wonder. Do you ever think you deep fried like a child's penis? <laughs> I have not yeah. thought about that. Uh, okay, here. Okay. Uh, he was abused as a child. Okay, do you know that happened? Oh, to hurt him? people, hurt people. Yeah, hurt hashtag that? hurt people, hurt people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. See, uh, I just did stand up. I could have just, I could have been, you know, one of these guys. Uh, his crime started early. He did that. He was twenty nine. He already got to kill him when he was twenty nine. That's crazy. Like serial killers, like they don't have like open mics or anything. They yeah. have to like just do it. Yeah, they could just do it open mic at the L and L Tavern. <laughs> yeah, <it's fucking laughs> they they literally talked for like, hey, what's your process? They had yeah, they, hey, probably, what's your... they probably had a podcast. What do you think John Wayne Gacy and Charles Manson are talking about? Like, hey, uh, yeah, do you have like a notebook or anything? Or do okay, oh, dude, okay, so he had an alter ego. Yeah. Okay, uh, he uh, what is this? He was able to hide within the community. Blah blah, chilling. He also down clown. We know that. Um, dude, uh, if you read the book Guru, Dell Close, yeah, was great super hyped by he, Jeff Griggs. Yeah, Jeff Griggs, shout out Jeff Griggs. I had him for like three sessions of uh, IO level four, then Earth Closed. <laughs> uh, you amazing. remember that time I moved to Chicago because yeah. I wanted to be on a Herald team, then Earth Closed and IO Closed forever? I remember we kind of met, shout out to Chris Mohan who connected yeah, us. Uh, yeah, K Dog. K Dog. Uh, yeah, Chris yeah. is the I shit. I hope he's dude. doing well. Yeah, um, but yeah, like you messaged me, and it was like right around like either was it January of twenty twenty or twenty nineteen? I mind? moved in June twenty nineteen. June twenty nineteen. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was. Because you did play rip playground, yeah, playground, dude. Yeah, R I P playground, the the safest playground in America. I like playground. John Wayne Gacy was not allowed at the playground. Yeah, no, theater. no, they knew. Some other people were though. Huh. <laughs> So, that's a different podcast. Yeah, it's a different <laughs> podcast. Yeah, that's a different one. I don't know. That, that's like so vague and random. And uh, there really wasn't anybody. People were like, was that me? <laughs> okay, I want to acknowledge this. Uh, <laughs> acknowledge it. Yeah, dude. Okay, so the last episode with an Indian guy, uh, it stirred up some controversy. If you think the beeps were your name, it was. It was. He was talking shit on you. You're not fucking narcissist, right? <laughs> we just beeped out a bunch of random fucking names. Everybody's like, was this me? This is fucking bullshit. It was. It was you. It was. It was all of you. It there was, was Rupert Pupkin. It was all the yeah, Rupert Pupkin. Yeah, Pupkin. How do yeah. you say his name? I don't know. Does anyone know who I'm talking about? No, I, who the fuck is that? That is the main character from King of Comedy, the the uh, Martin Scorsese movie about a a bitter stand up comedian who does not think he's getting booked enough. Yeah, oh, is, 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 that, is, that, is that is that really yeah is that is that relatable <laughs> to anybody listening or on this podcast right now? Yeah, dude, that that was before he could have just like lied about something bad happening to him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he couldn't be like, no, he couldn't be like, hey, I'm uh, bisexual. Can I get booked yeah. more? Uh, I'm bisexual and I was molested. <laughs> <laughs> what a combo! Yeah, yeah. Remember when Scorsese movies weren't four fucking hours? Yeah, it was good. The fucking Irishman. It was crazy. The whole Irishman's about uh, Robert De Niro. He was a bisexual and molested. <laughs> so he drank he, grape juice. <laughs> yeah, grape juice. Grape juice. I didn't even get that. I, I couldn't even finish it. Yeah, it was too much. I uh, I watched it. I tried to watch it during the one Thanksgiving. And I'm like, okay, surely this is almost over. And there was like an hour and a half left. And my dad just yelled, shut it the fuck off. Best thing <laughs> to hear at Thanksgiving. Shut the fuck yeah. up. And he's the one who introduced me to his movies. At least he didn't dude. tell you to shut the fuck up. Yeah, he, he didn't. Told the TV yeah. to shut up. Dude, I like that. Uh, Does your dad ever yell at the TV or yell at like a My dad yells at everybody, dude. He's fucking a, a fucking mechanic. <laughs> Uh, my dad definitely he yells at drivers on the road. He'll be like, "You're just rotting at the stop sign." It's like yeah. wild. Yeah, he gets really mad. Dude, my dad I think gets more mad when people are fucking nice to him in traffic. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't trust it. Yeah, no. We pull up to this intersection by his shop, and uh, they pull up, and they're facing, and like usually he's like, "Come on, just go, fuckhead," and he's like yelling, and he's like really mad, and uh, 
this guy pulls up. It's like a Subaru Forester, and the guy's like head to toe in Patagonia with like white sunglasses oh on. Yeah, dude. Yeah. This is just like uh, this is this is the kind of uh, white guy that black people say puts raisins in their potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> this is that kind of white, right? Yeah. And then he's cut there. off sleeves, probably. Yeah, and he had like a golden retriever and shit. Like, oh, I feel like yeah. my, my blue collar dad really didn't like this. And my fucking uh, this guy is like, no, come on. And my dad goes, no, go. And the guy's like, no, 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 I insist. And, and both insist. of you have their windows open, so no one can hear anybody. Yeah. But he's just like waving. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And the guy finally just starts blinking his lights back and forth, and he's like waving with his arm out the window. And my dad just goes, thanks, you fucking dumbass, and just accelerates and like slides the back of his truck out to the intersection. Fucking like. It was great. He was You're probably so dying in the seat. Probably he was so angry that yeah. this guy was nice to him. It's it's wild. Like these, especially like on the road. Like my dad. Like he's just big on. He's got to make good time for everything. Yeah. He'll get to the airport three hours early. Like I'm literally like I have to take a Greyhound bus in four hours. He would be like, no, you got to be ready. You got to you have to leave like four hours early. It's Greyhound. How, rah, rah. how shitty were the ticket takers like in the fucking eighties? Oh, they were terrible. Oh, no, yeah, they had yeah. to have been. Like, I mean, l- look at Home Alone. To bring it back to Home Alone, like, the how did a boarding pass get lost and he still got on the plane? Oh, that's yeah. Home Alone too. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. damn. I wish Elizabeth was still down here. <laughs> she was. Uh, she lived in Sweden for a little bit. Right? Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And she got. She thought she was going to Amsterdam for an Imagine Dragon. They keep coming up in this fucking weekend. <laughs> I have no idea why Imagine Dragons keep coming up. Right. They're radioactive. But, yeah. Man. So Imagine Dragons. Um, uh, she was going to see it with her friend. Some guy dropped like a bunch of papers or something. She helped pick it up. She got on a plane to France. And I guess they started yelling, stowaway, stowaway, stowaway. She landed and they made her go back to JFK. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then like she had to borrow money from somebody to like to get, get, to, yeah. to get back to Sweden to go to work. Even though like she like it wasn't her boarding pass. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So I don't know if that's I can go to France with her. That's some home loan shit, basically. Oh, no, the boarding passes are all over the place. Which is like crazy because like now, I, dude, I like France, dude. I, I kind of learned French for a little bit. I think it'd be cool. Uh, I don't know if I can go with her. She might get deported. <laughs> <laughs> they have a, they, yeah, they, they remember this shit, you know. They have records. I don't know. Man. What country would you go to next? Like, if you can go to a country you haven't been to yet. Well, <laughs> That's a loaded question. Cause yeah. I want to go to Amsterdam, but we'll see how that goes. I would go to Palestine because I'm a good person. <laughs> <laughs> let's see if you can go. Yeah, yeah let's see. Yeah, no, I don't know. Uh, I don't even know if you can go right now, actually, to be honest. Yeah, uh, East Palestine. Yeah, East Palestine. Uh, you can go to Palatine, Illinois. <laughs> yeah, Palatine, yeah. Yeah, shout out to fucking Palatine Road, fucking <laughs> Raising Canes, dude. They had an uh, armed guard <laughs> waving people in there. Yeah, I would go. I legit, not because it's St. Paddy's Day uh, yeah. weekend, I would go to Ireland for real. I want to do comedy out there. Yeah. I think Dublin is a really good comedy scene. I've had some good uh, people tell me to go out there. So you got to meet my friend Helen, dude. She's from Ireland. Hell she yeah. did the boom thing. Oh, nice. But, I mean, she's so she's like from so she's from there. Yeah. And then they had like uh, terrorism. And then she had to live here in Pittsburgh. You mean a country that has a thing called Irish car bombs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has yeah. terrorism? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Kyrie bomb. Yeah. You see that uh, little accent so twang what, on what happened was uh, some people really liked the Pope and some people really didn't. And they're <laughs> like, you know what? What if I detonated a Mini Cooper in front of your restaurant? The Pope was a very polarizing figure. He was. Yeah, the, he's pretty crazy, dude. He's the, he's the Matt Rife of religion. Yeah, the Matt Rife just doing crowd work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fucking, um, we've imagined the Pope came out and just did a girl, a, a woman beating joke. Like he comes out and smoke. We already know he's a long entrance. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Pope is definitely. Uh, they, he's in the Pope mobile. But like, so what do you do for a living? Yeah, what do you do for a living? Uh, how long have you two been together? Really? In sin? Okay, you're going to hell. <laughs> Dude, the, the new Pope, uh, Francis, used to be a bouncer. Do you know that? I did hear that. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty badass, dude. This Pope beats ass. <laughs> he beats ass. Uh, imagine getting your ass kicked. taking ass. <laughs> imagine getting your ass kicked. But oh, this sounds okay. I didn't think this one the whole way through, right? Okay, I'm gonna get canceled for this. Okay, I'm gonna say it anyways. Okay, yeah, I'm talking about the Pope. Yeah, the Pope. I'm not talking about marginalized people. No, imagine getting your ass beat by a guy in a dress. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they just, well, also, uh, like, he, well, he probably didn't wear the dress when he was like road. I'm thinking of Roadhouse bouncer, yeah, now. Roadhouse. Like, was Pope Francis, do you have like a mullet back then, like in a bar? Uh, like, I picture you look like the fucking uh, salty spittoon bouncer from SpongeBob. I don't know. It's, <laughs> Are you uh are you you're, you're like like three, four years older than me? I like, remember SpongeBob. Yeah, hell yeah. From the movie, yeah. yeah. Lemmy from Motorhead did a song for the Spongebob movie. That's badass, dude. Motorhead's Lemmy, Lemmy, fucking Lemmy. badass. They fucking rule. R. I. P. Yeah. Lemmy. Uh yeah. if you're in LA, go to the Rainbow Room. There's actually a statue of Lemmy and every day somebody would go and put a cigarette in the statue. Oh, that's badass. Dude. And you can like take a picture and flip why am I flicking no one this ain't a video podcast? Yeah. But you can you can flick off the statue, you can put a dollar in there, which is I don't know if everybody knows the reason he's called Lemmy, it's because he would always ask, Hey, let me borrow a dollar. Oh, really? I didn't know that. He yeah. never carried cash. They call him Lemmy. He's yeah. badass. He rules. 
Um, yeah, there's there's parts of L.A. that fucking rule, like yeah. movie stuff, and you know we've we've yeah. talked about that a lot. Dude, I liked L.A. It's pretty cool. I don't know. I went to Austin though, and uh, it's I, so. I was thinking, okay, so I ended up in Pittsburgh. I think we talked about this before. Yeah. I'm in Chicago, yeah. and uh, Elizabeth didn't like Chicago. And I was like, I kind of want to change a little bit, too. Uh, so I want to go to L.A. And I had an interview in L.A. I thought it went well. And the company got bought because God hates me, and then I didn't get to go. I'm like, fuck. And then, uh, I was like, okay, I'll go to New York. And then uh, we made it halfway, and I landed in a suburb of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But I keep thinking, like, no, nah, you know, I think L.A. is the move I want to. And then I went to Austin recently, dude. I like to call it incel Los Angeles. <laughs> a lot I of like back it. acne in Austin. Yeah, a lot of back acne, a lot of testosterone and MMA there. <laughs> Basically my whole life. All, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of pro wrestling. Dude, I didn't know you were based in red pills. <laughs> oh, so. yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> Love them red pills. Yeah, dude. Red pills and rice, actually. Yeah, red pills and rice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Austin's fucking wild. Uh, we've both been there a couple times now. Ooh, red pills and rice sounds like a good title. <laughs> put, that might be the title. <laughs> red pills yeah. and rice. Right, you've been to Austin for a few times. A couple times. I literally went like twice in like the same month unplanned. Yeah. Because uh, I was seeing someone at the time and they wanted to go to Houston. I'm like yeah. in Houston and I didn't book a, a, I had a day off from shows. And I'm like, oh, let me try to go to Austin for a night. And as I'm really glad I went that night. You know, shout out to Creek in the Cave. You That's know, uh, we, you know, we have some friends that we know. I don't know how much I'm supposed to shout out yeah. people right now, but yeah, look, there's some yeah. cool people in Austin. Good barbecue. Good, good. They actually have a growing scene outside of the clubs. And yeah. Not to get all wax poetic serious for a second, yeah. but I think whoa, the whoa, mark waxed. of a good scene. Yeah. <laughs> wax. <laughs> That's, my new DJ. That's my new SoundCloud name. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got a 10 hour yeah. Greyhound bus ride. Yeah. I'm going to be like just making DJ beats. Yeah, there you go. Quick. Yeah, that's what you should do. Like further disappoint your parents. The only thing worse <laughs> than being a fucking stand up comedian. I'm a dubstep DJ <laughs> on the Greyhound bus. Yeah, I'm the Greyhound bus <laughs> DJ. Yeah, I don't know. Austin's pretty cool, dude. Uh, I went to that pizza place in between uh, the mothership and that incel open mic. And uh, <laughs> which one? Uh, the one? fucking Shakespeare's, dude. Yes, I, I've had that. Hey, dude. I don't even care if this burns the bridge. That open mic's total ass. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It's total ass. I signed up and I got buried on the list. He's bumping everybody. And the guy, uh, I go check the list and he goes, "Hey, bud, I can bump you up or I could buy you a drink if you go out and you bark people in." I said, "Yeah, I'll get right on it." And I just walk down the creek in the cave. I'm like, "I'm not fucking." <laughs> yeah, Bargain people for open mic. Yeah, it's almost the fact that he asked. It's like that made it worse. I'm just like, no. Out of principle, I'm done. I've done. Do you know who I am? I have a podcast. Gets 43 listens. <laughs> <laughs> fucking piece. Hey, of this shit. one might have 50. We'll see. Yeah, no, Lucky this is pretty. 50. Yeah, you're a pretty controversial character. Mm. Yeah, mm, yeah. I got some history, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I think there are people that I think I actually have a history. Where I'm no. I'm like the. I'm like literally the harmless person. Yeah, you're like the nicest person ever. I'm too nice. I'm the, I'm yeah. the Steve Burns of. <laughs> I'm, I'm basically yeah. Steve Burns. He was he Steve was, Burns. Steve Burns, not Steve, yeah, not Steve the comedian Burn. Steve yeah. Burns. I'm talking about Steve Burns, the Blues Clues guy. Yeah. Who, Dude, I got who to famously went out with like a Playboy model for a while. Oh, really? Dude, Steve Burns from Blue Schools, he got some ass. Yeah. <laughs> 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 mm. Oh man. Yeah, he's a pretty cool. Remember that uh, time that Steve came back and like was disappointed in us? Yeah. Like, was I remember that about, video. He's just like, hey, guys. Hey, guys, it's okay. You're a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it felt like. like, if I could, like Here's God. a clue why yeah. you're a piece bow, of bow, shit. Bow, bow, bow. Bow. <laughs> yeah. And then he got a letter and he didn't. You know. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fucking how crazy is it? Blue is the girl and magenta is the boy. <laughs> Hey, it blew my mind. You know who Magenta is? Hey, that's uh, yeah, that's a a character on Blues. Yeah, Clues. it's crazy. It's like you know, it's a, it, oh god damn it! I'm actually being offensive. <laughs> no, but it just blew my mind as a child. I'm like, holy fuck, dude! I can wear pink. That's sick. <laughs> hey, yeah. I you know why I knew pink was punk because of Bret Hart, the wrestler. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. He came out with like these like it was like the whole jacket. Wait, is he the Suck It guy or no? That's the Hardy Boys, right? <laughs> no, no it's that fucking Hardy Boys. <laughs> that's why you're gonna get canceled. All your wrestling fan listeners are gonna be like, oh, no, the Hardy Boys. It. So Degeneration X yeah. did the suck a chance. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, Hardy Boys were North Carolina wrestlers who fell off ladders with the Dudley Boys. Oh, okay, yeah. And Edge and Christensen. And Bret Hart was a Canadian wrestler who fought Shawn Michaels. He did like a submission maneuver. Yeah. Uh, a, basically a Canadian hero. Like, yeah. He's basically on the Canadian money. It's fucking wild. <laughs> yeah, fucking that's sick, dude. Uh, and he also uh, kicked The Undertaker in the head. It's amazing. Yeah, dude, and he got hair. kicked in the head also. He had a, dude, he's like fought like a stroke. He's had like prostate cancer. He's like multiple bouts. Damn, that CTE him. went through his body. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it just spread through the veins. Would you ever try to do like a like a wrestling thing? 
Yeah, there's a story nobody knows. I haven't. I haven't. I mean, my friends don't. Did you take world. a tumble on the mat. I I want to take a bump. That's not a cocaine bump. Everybody, yeah. calm the fuck down. It's where you flat back fall into the mat. I want to do that. What I have done though is, I went to the Royal Rumble in St. Louis, and me and a couple comedians were hanging out with some improvisers. Yeah. And fun always ensues when that happens, Chris, yeah. as you know. And these improvisers, yeah. they were betting <laughs> on the Royal Rumble, and the loser would take a kendo stick shot. Yeah. And I was like not involved in the betting, but I'm no. like I kind of want to take a kendo stick yeah, shot yeah. to the back. Yeah. So I t- and and just for further effect, I took my shirt off yeah. and took the kendo stick shot on the like. The yeah, shoulder. this is a side effect of being an alpha male, dude. Hell yeah, side effect of being an alpha One of the yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It stung like a mother. Yeah, I bet that shit looks like it hurts. My buddy who's had a stroke, uh, Chris Damon, he yeah. has a pacemaker in his chest. Oh he, shit, dude! I didn't know he's he a took cyborg. It on the chest, like yeah, a damn. goddamn man. So shout out Chris Damon, he's awesome. He rules uh power hour hey. yeah i can't wait to see him i think he's supposed to come out here he's right? supposed to come out here i think for yeah. pittsburgh he's yeah. fucking awesome you should dude. do one with him too dude fucking kendo dude uh, i took a well uh i got signed up for a medieval sword fighting class because you know <laughs> i'm Shout fucking cool. you, your girl yeah she made it rain on me uh, uh but you have the option there's like an elective you could do kendo too <laughs> So Hell I could yeah. be European and Asian sword master. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck it. I have a katana and worlds. a bastard sword. <laughs> well, you were thinking trying to go to Japan, too. Yeah, that'd be cool, dude. I want to go to Japan. Yeah, that'd be rule. Be great. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Fucking. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna rain hell on one of them conveyor belt buffets. <laughs> there's a. There's a the documentary on Amazon Prime. It's with Chad Daniels, Pete Lee, and yeah. uh, Tom Segura. Yeah. And it's like you. It's called like you have to kill. It's literally. These three guys who started like in the it's Minneapolis nice. area and they go the a, the owner of the Minneapolis Comedy Works is from Asia of Asian descent. And he books these three American comics yeah. to perform in Asia. It's a great stand up documentary for you and your listeners. I would check it out. It's like that thing about like seeing what translates from the U.S. to other countries. I was know? so surprised how well it worked in, in Amsterdam. Because you've gone to Amsterdam. You've done yeah. like our hostile show with international Yeah, you know, it's crazy too because both those shows, it wasn't just like Dutch people. Uh, you know, it was like uh, in Amsterdam, there's like Germans and English people, Australian people, Asian like country, you know, uh, Asian country people is what I said. That's how tired I am right now. It's Asian <laughs> people. Asian country you know, people, hey. Yeah, all these Asian country people, I reckon. Well, and, uh, bringing back to Nickelodeon, remember Mr. Wynn on Hey Arnold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, <laughs> the Vietnamese neighbor, and then he has a country, there's an episode where he has a country song. Yeah. So he was an ancient country singer. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. That's badass. Hey Arnold was awesome. Hey Arnold ruled. Was he going to PS 113 or whatever? PS 118. 118. Why PS do I 118. Know that? <laughs> I don't know, dude. That's what my brain is stored. Like, I don't have a PhD, but I do know Nickelodeon. Right? Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's yeah. why my parents love me. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. I don't know. I miss. I miss good. Like, I, I miss getting up Saturday morning and uh, watching children's cartoons. I would still do it, but I now get up at like 2 p.m. every day. Yeah, so you I have just a job. watch them at 20. You don't have to get up now to watch anything. You can do it on your laser. It's great. Dude, I'm fucking a uh, straight up vampire at this point. <laughs> Dude, I think it might be two in the morning. Three. That's in the why morning. you want to go to Japan because then you'd actually be on a normal schedule. Yeah, I have again. to fix my sleep cycle <laughs> somehow. Go to Japan. That'll the, get you back. The crazy morning. thing about the Netherlands, dude, uh, was uh, I, I was there. I was like, all right, I'm gonna try to get over jet lag. Yeah. And uh, I did the opposite, and I went out with a bunch of people to a bar. We went to another bar, and then I was like hammered. And we went and this to is another like your bar. First, third, yeah. second night. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I went to we went to a punk rock bar, and then it closed. But then we got snuck into a secret back room. Love and then that. a jam band came out, and uh, all these hippies came out. We were there till like six a.m. And then I had to just walk through uh, Amsterdam. I've never been. I'm in a different country. I'm like stumbling. Never on. been there before. You're stumbling. Yeah, dude. Home. This is like what they tell you not to fucking do <laughs> at all in a different country. I wouldn't do that in fucking. Pittsburgh exactly 30 minutes from my house yeah it was fucking terrifying that's how beginning a hostel starts with (laughs) Eli Roth do you know what's fucking crazy dude they have all these signs there that this this is England go home don't come here (laughs) they have a sign they have circle they have like pictures of the British flag with a circle line through it says go back to where you came from my god yeah again again like there's this weird like weird relationship with like racism in Europe like they never had a civil rights movement like blackface is kind of like okay there. well over there it is dude they have fucking Santa Claus puts blackface on it his kids in the street or something like that Father Father Dark or whatever he's called Father Dark sounds like the (laughs) sickest code name ever so CIA agent's like it's me Father Dark that would have been the next MF Doom album if he hadn't died Father Dark yeah Father Dark dude (laughs) that just sounds like a satanic priest (laughs) dude I was listening to this other podcast uh Shout out Eric Damon. He's a he's a kid. Uh, a kid. He's a he's a fucking adult man. He's like forty five. I call <laughs> everybody a kid. Yeah. This uh, child. Feel young, yeah. This ch- my friend, the child Eric. <laughs> he's awesome, dude. He has this spot. I can't remember what it's called. I have to look it up. 
Uh, but it's like, uh, or it's comedians talking, uh, comedians talking about the Bible with pastors or something like that. Damn. And uh, he had this like girl on here who's like super like cool and she's like real like nice and very quiet and stuff. So like, yeah, tell us about your like time growing up. And the other guy is like, I go to church, whatever. She goes, I used to be a Satanist. And I was like, holy fuck, fuck. Dude, <laughs> that's dude there's a fucking Satan lady. That's sick, dude. Yeah. Dude, that rules, bro. Satan. Yeah, that's pretty neat. That's pretty metal. I mean, like, I think like the Church of Satan is to me. That's all satire. There's no. Yeah. Like, they were trying to fight organized religion. So yeah. Like, Sa- Satan rules. Do you want to be an atheist but cringe? Cringe. Yeah. <laughs> be the Church of Satan. I don't know. Anton guess. Lavey. Yeah. What a sick name. Is that not a badass fucking name? Anton, like people would kill for that name. Yeah, Anton Lavey. Is, I would drink the blood. <laughs> you have two that. options. You either have to do that or be like the cringiest fucking improv teacher of all time. <laughs> Anton Lavey. Yeah, I heard. I heard Anton Lavey is teaching the art of slow comedy <laughs> down at CIC. <laughs> CIC. That's such a deep. Yeah, cut. I heard he's down at CIC. Fucking. He got kicked out of I.O. for some allegations. <laughs> now he's down at, now he's down at the fucking Logan Square Improv Theater teaching the art of fucking oh slow God, comedy. Logan Square Improv, baby. Yeah. Uh, and CIC, they got that Domino's right there. So Anton yeah, LeVay. Shout out to Domino's. <laughs> Anton LeVay goes to that Domino's and gets 20% off. Yeah, Anton sure. LeVay, if he knew it was up, he'd go to the Burger King from Magic Tavern. Down the street, <laughs> dude. <That's, laughs> I, I used to go to that Burger King all the time because that stupid podcast. I was like, hell yeah, dude. I'm going like, to go to Magic ta- Tavern. Tavern. God tavern. damn it, dude. Fucking, you That's just your gave Chicago, me a Chicago accent. Yeah, tavern. You I can't just, say tavern. You have to say uh, pardon me. I code switched. <laughs> got a code, code switch. Code for switch. Pro, you got a pierogi them. switch for them. Yeah, pierogi switch, dude. They go from uh, butter and onions here to uh, deep fried. You were fried. telling me like they do sour cream is, is sour cream is specific to Chicago. No, it's not specific. I think it's just specific to like how that group of Polish people cooked them. You know what I mean? Like there's different, it's like, tell us about that group of Polish, yeah, people. Polish people. Like, so those are That's the ones so that are Polish. all trying to figure out how to screw in a light bulb. And <laughs> my, I can say it. My mother's main name's Polish. <laughs> yeah. <I'm, laughs> like, Put a little polish on that Polish. <laughs> yeah. Polish. But yeah, yeah, they do uh butter and onions here. That's how we do it. Uh, big brain Polish, not smooth brain Polish. Like you Chicago. <laughs> you damn Chicago. I would. Yeah. I mean, I will say like the, the pierogies I've had out here were better. So. Yeah. We, did we south. have pierogies? We did. No, we, we didn't. Did. Have <laughs> we had a calzone. That's we like a big, a, oh my that's God. a big Italian pierogi. pierogi. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, dude. it was huge. Dude, I went to pierogi fest in Whiting, Indiana. And uh, I waited in line. I was so excited. What's the name said, of the town? Whiting? Yeah, Whiting. Yeah. It says the crossroads Ooh. of America. I have a t-shirt that says Whiting, Indiana, the crossroads of America and home of pierogi <laughs> fest. And that exists unironically because That's Indiana. Yeah. You need to frame that shirt. You know what? You know what writing is? No. It's like a suburb of Chicago. It's like maybe like Whiting. it's like right outside of the. I city. know those are Brownsburg, Indiana. Yeah, too. Brownsburg. Do they beef? <laughs> they have a fucking issue. It's yeah. a hell of a beef. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They get along one day a year. It's a real yeah. India versus Pakistan. They both have a real problem with Blackington, Illinois. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. That is a real town too. Unfortunately. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> what do you think of Galena? You ever go there? I've been to Galena. My dad was, was one of those crazy. things. It's a very dad town, right? Hey, let's yeah. take the family on the station wagon. Yeah, it, look, it looks like you're walking walking into a medieval castle. It really did. No, my yeah. God. He'd be like, oh, we should go somewhere for the summer, and we'll find like these like timeshare home things where you, you stay there for the weekend, yeah. and you have to, like, but half the weekend is presentations. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so you have to sit through it. You know what's asinine? They have this gigantic door. Like, look up Galena, Illinois, uh, if you get a chance. I really like it. Uh, I think it's like it, Illinois. It was fun where I could drink. Yeah. I'll say that. Any, any, yeah, it's anywhere is fun where you can drink. Yeah, dude. yeah, dude. Like you fucking, I'm drinking right now, dude. Mm-hmm. Crushing Michelob Ultras and a fucking <laughs> Pep- drinking green beer before and a yeah. diet Pepsi Hell or yeah. a diet Coke. That's a great combo. Uh, but anyways, they have these giant floodgates. Like they're huge. They're like three stories high. Uh, or all you had to do was just not fucking live there. It's <laughs> <laughs> like an easy. Those are two options. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't live there. Just like fucking. <laughs> okay. Well, let's say I build a. Fucking house in a dumbass area. Maybe I'll put it up on top of the hill. <laughs> yeah, I remember like, and then they had like all these like fucking like we'd, we we so we had that whatever that presentation in the morning and the evening we're staying in this house. And yeah. I remember the last time I went, I could drink because I remember going to like this one shop to get beer. Yeah, and on the way, I saw every type of wind chime stand ever. Yeah, like just like independent shops and full of wind chimes. Everything, dude. There's so much weird shit. Dude, there's like a there's like a place called like Thunder Falls or something like that like on the way. Yeah. Best so, porn name ever. Yeah, Thunder Falls. It sounds like a fucking like <laughs> some ass fucking Cartoon Network TV show. It's like, why did you destroy it's this in channel? Cartoon Network and Adult Swim. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, make Thunder the cut Falls, on either. Yeah. Thunder Falls. It's about you can't like, figure out what is it for. Yeah, it looks like somebody on the fucking <laughs> bad end of the spectrum did the art for it. Fucking like damn, dude. Anyways, um, 
So I went on this like off road trip. Yeah. Um, I have like a off road truck uh, that later made people think I'm Republican for some fucking reason. But I had this truck and uh, we on this trip and me and the, my buddy Chad from work were like driving like doing this off road thing. Like, oh, we're going to stop at this little yeah. it's an old train station. And like we go into it and the guy's like, oh, hello, go to my barn. And we're with like 10, 15 other people. They kept trying to get us to go to his barn. And we're like, no, we don't want to go to the barn. He's go to my fucking barn. He's <laughs> like, demanding we go to the barn. And he had a bunch of books like they were made out of human skin. Oh, boy. I'm like, dude, it was like really weird. And I and supposedly he's like a country music player. I want to play country bluegrass for us. But I really felt like he was going to kill us and to fuck our bodies behind right. the barn. Yeah. He's like, going he's going to gonna lull you into a state of relaxation with the music. Dude, I got to find it. He's like, he did last night. Please get in the barn. <laughs> it was like really uncomfortable. Yeah, dude. I, I mean, the it. voice gives it makes me. Uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm I getting the, weird out by it. Yeah, day. dude, it's like Galena Station. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to look. Well, maybe I shouldn't because it's just like one guy that lives there and you like go into his house. No, oh, man. He's not doing an Airbnb, Airbnb experience yeah, at that he, fucking barn. He's doing air BDSM when he ties you up and fucks you. <laughs> You're getting fucked. Skin books, bro. I, yeah, I like skin, skin books, books, dude. And you got to clean up after yourself too. Yeah, Otherwise, dude. you get docked another ten. I don't want to be a book, dude. I don't. I hope, I hope he at least makes me a good book. I want to be. You're, I want to become truth and comedy by <laughs> fucking Sharna Helper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, it's just my skin wrapped over a bunch of uh, Michael Myers says go to die. <laughs> <laughs> Because he, he like you know he saw a commercial for it in like Canada and you got to go to yeah Canada. yeah dude uh, I only there's only one Michael Myers that I respect <laughs> <laughs> and he has a mustache in Chicago hell yeah yeah shout out to his album uh, shout out shout uh, I'm trying to think what book I'd want to be murdered into uh, yeah it would probably like be one of the I w- I kind of would like it if look if this ever happened I mean again my religion is reincarnation but you know you yeah. get reincarnated to living things not inanimate yeah. objects you know. I don't know. Like, it'd have to be, like, some... I kind of want it to be, like, a book for, like, somebody who's, like, like a Bill O'Reilly, like, a pundit type. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, it'd dude. have to be one of those, because then it's like, oh, you know, like, I think people are different. Well, your book is made from somebody who's different, so yeah. you, you fucked up on that. Yeah. Like, you read about those, like, Fox News anchors who are all punditries, then they go outside in Times Square, yeah. or outside the studio, and what are they eating? Halal food. They're eating fucking different Yeah, hell yeah, dude, but you can't pass that up. That shit's so good, dude. No, it's, it is That's great. the best food in it Chicago. It make, actually makes you hate brown people more. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> fuck, why you cook so good? This is bull- Shit. I still uh, believe Halal Guys is the best in New York. I'm sorry, Chicago. You, we don't have the good Halal Guys. You got to go to New York, dude. You know what? Uh, I, I, I want to be reincarnated. A different book. I don't want to be truth and comedy. Yeah, I want to become Art of the Deal. <laughs> <laughs> that way, then my fan base can still enjoy my fucking. It is. A, it's, <laughs> it's a thick book for a thick yeah. boy. Yeah, thick boy. Thick thickness. Uh, yeah, Art deal. Uh, you negotiate a little bit. I mean, you do some sales stuff. Yeah, right? dude. I'm a sales machine, yeah. dude. You probably learned from that book. I'll, I'll tell you what, dude. Johnny What's Trafficanti, the biggest lesson you learned from that? I can outsell you. Johnny Trafficanti, <laughs> Pittsburgh car sales comedian. He says he can outsell me. I'll fucking I'll push more metal than that guy. You guys need to have I'll a sell him. off. Shout out to Johnny Trafficanti, fellow car sales wop. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm also that's my two ethnic groups. Uh, He's fucking, allowed to say the groups. Yeah, I'm fucking Italian and Polish. I, I'm gonna do a 23 and me again so I can get more racial <laughs> slurs to say, dude. That's why more people need to do 23 and me so they yeah. can get more racial. I'm 0.9 percent Iranian. Uh, what are some slurs for that? <laughs> I should say. Get it I, I haven't figured. Well, yeah. I was telling Chris about this, and I'll tell all you. We're we're not going to say the slurs, but here's what you can do. You can go and look them up. It's called the Racial Slur Database. This is real. It's not a yeah. it's not a propaganda site. It's for learning. You can explore. Yeah, you can call your neighbors. It. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they're not. They're stealing your garbage cans. Go yeah, after. Yeah. No, them. those are pedophiles. <laughs> okay. okay, so I thought that they stole my fucking garbage can, dude. Like that really pissed me the fuck off. <laughs> I told I told particular. That's the worst thing that pedophiles have done. They stole your goddamn. Yeah, no, dude. I was about to end their lives, dude. I was about to fucking uh dude. I was about to uh if you could hadouken anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, I would hadouken them, dude. I would hadouken them back to their fucking chomo cell or whatever. <laughs> the fuckers, dude. I, okay, so they didn't even... They're actually innocent of the garbage can, not the, the child fuckery. That uh, they did, yeah. That's yeah, dude. I don't know. We said child fucking way too much in this. Uh, the, the only place this goes is YouTube, so I'll see if I get this taken down. But um, Okay, so I had this garbage can. I put yeah. it behind my house. I go take the garbage outside. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? My garbage can is gone. Everybody else's garbage can is still here. And then I live in this asshole fucking um, nightmare of a town that makes you pay $150 for a new garbage can. I'm like, I can't afford that right now. It's still cheaper than Chicago. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, Chicago is fucking, you breathe oxygen, they give you a fine. 
The fucking Chicago is a goddamn nightmare, dude. Yeah. The fucking I felt like every two seconds I made more money than Chicago's I ever made in my life. Over you owe the mayor four hundred yeah. bucks. In. I made more money than I've ever made in my life there, and I felt like I was impoverished. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and I come back here and I live like a king. Yeah. Uh, not really. Um. But anyway, so my garbage can just fucking appears, and I'm like looking all over for it. And I'm like somebody stole it. And I noticed. Okay, so there's a pedophile rehab house. I live in a great neighborhood. All right. So this guy from Baltimore came out to Pittsburgh and he bought a house for like 30 grand. The houses in my neighborhood are like 30 grand. It's like, uh, it's uh, like shameless on the side of the hillside. And uh, <laughs> so I go and I see he has another garbage can. I'm like, these motherfuckers. It's like a ha- like, it's like a frat house for pedophiles. One even has <laughs> entourage. But for yeah, pedophiles. it's crazy. One it's even like the actual entourage. One even has a <laughs> sick sport bike, like a sick motorcycle. <laughs> Why do you need a high performance motorcycle when you're a pedophile? You're trying to beat the school bus. Is fucking, <laughs> you know, like anyways. How do you have money for that too? What about all the fines and the court? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. But so uh, we're probably selling my garbage can. But then I go and I'm like, I, I know they have my fucking garbage can. I would just loop the block. And for days, I would just watch their and house. And they're number two. So you could figure yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I had my name wrote all over it, <laughs> right? Because I, yeah. I don't trust these motherfuckers. And then I go over there. I'm looking. Like, every time they put their garbage out, they have like four fucking garbage cans. There's no way they have this much garbage. What are they throwing away? <laughs> terabytes, right? So I go and I look. And I'm like, these motherfuckers. Like, and I'm walking around like a, uh, Alex Jones. Like a fucking pedo- <laughs> pedo- pedo- pedophile. Pedophile stole my garbage can. <laughs> these pedophiles stole my garbage can. It's in the water. Yeah, it's in the water. Like pedophiles. In the water. <laughs> frogs turn. Or chemicals turn frogs into pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> and and, uh, I, and so I go and I keep like stalking them and like I'm like watching their house, dude. It's crazy because their house is at the bus stop where the kids go on the bus. But then I'm sitting across from it, like I'm also watching the bus stop. That's where their fucking garbage can goes, dude. They're trying to get the kids. I'm trying it's to a get fucking my standoff. You're watching them. Yeah, They're watching crazy. you. The I think kids, they saw the me. Kids are like, what the fuck? Towards the end of my desperation, I started just piling garbage behind my house. Nobody would take it, so I start walking their yard and checking their garbage. I'm like, I know it's there somewhere. <laughs> fucking you find like little kid socks and all. And, in the yeah, he has the little kid socks, dude. I found so many My Little Pony and fucking <laughs> Hello Kitty underwear. So I'm like, <laughs> Fucking believable, dude. Just pieces of Tonka trucks covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> you like PTSD. Yeah. That's her hamburger hill. It's just Tonka trucks in yeah. play school. Yeah, just like, it's fucking horrible. But anyways. Uh, and again, no. these are horrible people. Yeah, and then I found right? out it wasn't them. It was like a contractor uh, three three houses down. I'm racist against this group now. Uh, I, I was never... Wait, uh, pedophiles? They're not a racist. Yeah, no, Mexican people. No, but, <laughs> <laughs> no, I love Mexican... Shout out to Mexican people. I love you guys. You're, They're great. you're fucking awesome. It's a joke, Hey, Cinco right? de Mayo's coming up. Yeah, there Cinco de Mayo goes hard in the paint, dude. I, uh, I'll come back for that. We'll do it. Yeah, I love time. burritos, and um, I love my friend Ryan. That is Ryan. the whitest I love way my friend Ryan. Yeah. I love burritos. I love burritos. I still love Peggy Hill going, Fajida. <laughs> Fajida's funny. <laughs> Anyway, so I go and I see it. They have my garbage can full of contractor shit in the front of their house with like three other garbage cans. And I look, they had like a little gate thing under the porch. They had more garbage cans. These guys are going around, going around stealing garbage cans, but they like had to go to other neighborhoods. They still mine. Like I share like a backyard. So I went and I got my garbage can and I just <laughs> emptied it all over their front yeah. lawn. Yeah, dude. It was a total alpha male move. And then uh, my mom found out and she called me crying, screaming like they're going to come kill you. And my my girlfriend's like, don't do that. But I'm like, I don't know, dude. You're like Viva La Rosa. Yeah, what are you going to do? And then I bought this like paint can, right? Like neon pink. And I was going to do stencils. I got with like the wide spray nozzle. Yeah. And I was going to like paint real nice. Like my, I almost said my address. <laughs> <laughs> I do not say and, that. And uh, I went to a mic. I came home. Elizabeth goes, I did it for you. And it looks I, uh it's not, it doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like, whatever. Yeah, but sure. no one takes your garbage can anymore. Nobody takes my garbage can anymore. Oh, yeah. They fucking know better, dude. I'll <laughs> fucking dump garbage all over there. <laughs> Shit. And you righted it wrong. Uh, you got some pedophiles accused for some. Yeah, things. dude. Well, they deserve it. They deserve it. Yeah, yeah dude. You I hate them. Twice. I hate them for. I even looking did at. Did they really? Did they really have to like come by and like now? Like, so if it's a house full, do all of them individually have to come? Do they it? have a policeman come? <laughs> okay. Dude, he comes up, he knocks the door, he's like, ugh, he has to go house to house like a fucking. <laughs> Uh, like a me. fucking Girl Scout, but like, hey, you got a new kitty fucker. I Actually, got fuckers. It's yeah, like, kitty fuckers, it's plural. plural. It's a house I mean, it's not, I don't know, dude. Let's go look at uh, yeah. the Citizen app. You want to see how many pedophiles in my area? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking should. insane, dude. <laughs> That's the one thing we haven't done this trip. Beaver County, Pennsylvania has a high concentration. What if I open it up? And there's just a spot in this house. So it's, like, <gasps> <laughs> it's like, you caught me. You caught me red handed. All right. 
All right. 27 registered sex offenders in your area. <laughs> Justin is right, like, right, what's offender? the radius? Uh, uh, this is my house. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> your phone is chicken yeah, box, baby. Yeah, yeah, Holy it's shit. crazy. Oh, my oh, goodness. Shit. It does look like it almost look. Look at this. Tell me this doesn't look like it's my house. Yeah, <laughs> That's how close it is, dude. Yeah. There's a couple of them. You want to read, read his name? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I don't want to read it. It's, <laughs> don't uh, read it. I mean, you're going to have to. No, here. Look at it. Does this not look like a. This looks like a. Like he would be a, a boxer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are all boxes. That actually sounds like a comedian. Yeah, so I, yeah. Which uh, which one? Uh, I'm I'm just waiting to open this up and see one of my friends. <laughs> Your old improv teacher might be. This is very fun. very close to uh, somebody we know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might have to. Yeah, dude. What did he get in trouble for? <laughs> yeah, what's the specific? Uh, oh, I have to buy the plus version to see what he did. <laughs> of even, fucking, but this is information that we involuntary. Need. Deviant sexual intercourse. I think that's just the rape. <laughs> the rape. Oh, the rape, dude. Okay, so. Oh shit, well, you dude. Know how some people get like they have to register just for like peeing on the sidewalk or something. Yeah, it's crazy, <laughs> dude. Uh, how about uh, there are these two we kids? Have a terrible that, legal system. Yeah, it's awful. There's two kids in my high school would send nudes to each other. Their parents found out. Found out one called the cops, and they're both sex offenders. They're married with kids now. Oh, they did that when they're like that kind of rules. Yeah, but they're both pedophiles, dude. Like, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I guess they. Well, I guess they have to move. They go yeah. to a honeymoon. They have to. Rent. Yeah. Do you have to? Okay, do you have to tell people on a like on a trip, or is it only where you move? Uh, well, if they like they move. I think it's when they move. Yeah. I, mean, I think you have to ask you permission. You go to honeymoon, you have to be yeah. like, uh, hey, hotel. Hey, hey hotel. Uh, <laughs> That's how you talk. We're both uh, <laughs> sexual predators. predators. Yeah. We're going to be in our room only. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a team of predators. We're actually going to need more room up. service because we're just going to stay in the room. The yeah. Room. It's a long form duo. Of <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're about to do it's a weird real ass. Herald. Yeah. We're going to run a Herald here. Mm. And then guess what the game slot is? Your ass. <laughs> your ass is a game slot. That's it. Don't this tell is, the manager. Yeah. Don't. Don't tell the manager you're going to get kicked out of level five. <laughs> oh, man. Who do you think is more predatory? Uh, do you think uh, stand, open mic stand comedians or improv coaches? <laughs> Which one? Both. It's yeah, both. What about those like the rare? Bo oh, God. Never mind. <laughs> I, I know where you're going. With I that. do both. Actually. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, no, I just do sketch <laughs> and, and sketch stand. guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I look. Let's be honest here. Like you can be predatory in any line of work. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. Dude, there's there's there are fire breathers right now that are, like you literally spit fire, but you're also fucking kids. Like, yeah. But how many fucking cops probably fuck kids versus fire breather? I don't know. Actually, no. It sounds they like fire, a fire breather. Fire a fire breather. breather definitely would. Yeah. A fire breather yeah. would like like, you know, like magicians but always magicians strike me as like because you're entertaining kids yeah it's like kid, hey, hey, hey hear what i pulled out of you abracadabra i've made your innocence disappear, <laughs> disappear. <laughs> but no but doesn't hey real quick back to fire breather doesn't that sound like a slur oh 100 <laughs> percent. yeah dude <laughs> again check that database yeah <laughs> yeah dude fucking couple of fire breathers walking <laughs> Especially in that tone, too. That's the other thing, yeah, too. Fucking, like, the way you say something could make it sound way more yeah, racist than it yeah, actually it, is. Yeah. Like, give me a word. What's a, what's a word we can do here make it sound racist? <laughs> um, Niagara head. You yeah, got that's kind of close to some other words. But. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't yeah. trying. Yeah. <laughs> we I'm see everything that's A couple there. Niagara's. <laughs> oh, that sounded really bad. That sounded <laughs> that sounded really that fucking sounded bad, dude. I'm really, I might beep that, yeah. but that might sound worse, dude. <laughs> I yeah. might be, but uh, the name of your town, Alakipa. 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 Yeah, Alakipa. Alakipa. Like, you just doxed me for tea. You just doxed it. Alakipa is what you have to say to your yeah, neighbors to stay away from your fucking garbage. Uh, Alakipa. Uh, and they just disappear like poof. Alakipa. I was thinking that one song. Alakipa. Uh, yeah, it sounds pretty sick. Yeah, but no, it's, it's Alakipa. Uh, it's a Native American queen. Uh, yeah, that's where I live, but I can't fucking. I don't know. Like Adult Swim, Native American Queen. Native American Queen. That's well, you know a, who didn't win the Oscar? Or Native American Queen. Yeah, Lily damn, Gladstone. dude. That's crazy. I did get through the movie though, which is. You know what? Uh, you know what's crazy? Uh, uh, they should do a cover band called Native American Queen of the Stone should, Age. <laughs> yeah, Native American Queen of the Stone Age. Yeah, that'd be pretty sick. What kind of music do you like? What's your favorite band? These days, honestly, I've been listening to a lot of Queens of Stone Age. Yeah, hell yeah. Lot, there's this Punjabi metal band called uh, Bloodywood. Yeah, hell yeah, that's They're badass. Great. They have like literally they play flutes in the middle of metal songs. And they're supposed to be like a, a blowing up metal scene in India right now. Oh yeah, because they're, they're just rebelling against yeah, corruption. They're in they, stand up. What's the club? It's like Oxygen or something, or like there's something. It's like something like that. It's like pretty big. 
the the there's a I think there is something called oxygen, but I'm not I'm not too familiar with India's comedy scene. I, I, mean, get, I, I know they have different types of comedians. Everybody thinks that in these type of countries, like the comedy is very uh, over the top and slapsticky and very like relationship, like Jerry Seinfeld, the old mm -hmm. '90s. But there is more of a punk rock like alt scene. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. And I think that's great. I, they're, they're they're growing, but they're growing at a faster rate. You know, I, dude, I've wanted to go there for such a long time, dude. I just want to drink chai tea in the streets. I don't know why. I saw that like a street vendor of chai tea on a dude. That's the biggest so thing, sick. man. Eating that eating that food on the street, you know, your stomach's gonna take a beating. Yeah, dude, my stomach is an iron tank. <laughs> it's an iron claw. I didn't get this big, not digesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, who's that white guy that would go around? Andrew Zimmerman or whatever. He would go to George. <laughs> no, Andrew Andrew Zimmer, Andrew Zimmer, the guy who eat weird foods. Oh yeah. That'd be I mean, I think it'd be like really, really cool, dude. Dude, I was supposed to go there. I had this, uh, I was in this thing called Engineers Without Borders in college. <laughs> and I, I was like, uh, I, I you had. You did grow up a lot of, around a lot of Indian people. So yeah, yeah. Know. Dude, and. So you uh, know exactly where to go. They just kept doing ice. We were supposed to go to, uh, was it like, there was like University of Mumbai or whatever. Mm. And like, we were going to work with them and try to do like this thing and help a village, which would be awesome. And then uh, the, the members of uh, SWE, which is the Society of Women Engineers. Uh. They joined it, and then they just kept making us do ice cream socials, and they told, they like tried to fire the teacher that organized it, and then wow. yeah, they just did ice cream socials for like two years, and I'm like, damn, dude, this is stupid. <laughs> Quit. <laughs> I wanted to go help a village. You you had to, you left before you could go to a village. Yeah, damn. Yeah, well, so they you'd never be a went. Christian missionary, basically. Yeah, it would have been sick, dude. Mm -hmm. No, I think Mumbai. I mean, that's where my family's from. You could have gone there. That's supposed to be like a there. badass city, isn't it? It's, it's very big, it's it's all big the big city. cities now are so overpopulated too. Yeah, you, know? you ever ride the tr if you ever get to ride the bus or train, like it is like going with the flow basically. So, okay, so my friend Joel, he's uh, he's his family's from there. He said he went over there. And he got in a cab, and they just started driving the wrong way up a fucking highway. Oh yeah, like, I mean Jesus the Christ. cabs, the auto rickshaws, which are the open yeah. air cars. Yeah. Those are wild. Uh, you gotta be. I mean, you just gotta be careful with the street food, man. If you're not, I mean, if you're. If you don't have a sensitive stomach, like yeah, go to town. I probably, I'd, I'd say that, and I'm gonna get dysentery tomorrow at you a talk and, uh, about. Shout out to comedian Derek Strong. You and Derek, like Derek, went up to my dad one time. We, I mean, he didn't randomly just go up to him. We were hanging out. He said, "I want to go to, I want to go to the street. Like, he wants to try like the gnarliest, like, yeah, like basically like weird meat on a stick." And I'm like, "I don't, I don't know, man. I, what what, I, what would they serve you. there? Oh, I, well, well. <laughs> yeah, no, you'll get your, yeah. you, you'll get everything now. In fact, you're leaving. Everybody thinks like, oh, the cows roam around, so I don't have beef. They've become a big exporter of, of, of beef. beef. Yeah, it's some underground cow railroad that's fucking like making all these. The things. underground cow railroad, dude. It's that's a like, sick band name. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can that's I get SoundCloud name? Can I get Pangle in there? <laughs> I've been wanting to try that for the last four years. You've been watching South Park. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds Pangle. good. Uh, that I don't know. <laughs> you might have to you might have to figure that out. Uh, yeah, beef. I mean, you can get anything like chicken, turkey. Uh, the McDonald. Apparently, the India McDonald's like serve like lamb burgers that are amazing. Dude, dude. American fast food's better everywhere but America. <laughs> Dude, it's like fucked up, dude. Like so, uh, lunch rooms are better in overseas than us. Yeah. Like all these kids are getting cool meals. We get, yeah. we get, we get pedophiles. That's yeah, all that's we all we get, dude. <laughs> Ronald McPhonald, <laughs> pedophonald, <laughs> pedophonald. Uh, but any, yeah, pedophonald sounds like uh, that sounds like your prop teacher's name, <laughs> dude. I have Ronnie Pedophonald for level four. <laughs> I'm fucking excited. He's a legend, dude. I, I heard he, he almost uh, got SNL one year. He almost got SNL. I heard he wrote. Sudeikis. I heard he wrote episode three, season two of fucking Rick and Morty. <laughs> 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 fucking him and I don't know. Uh, uh, I did that one festival uh, overseas. It was awesome, dude. It was it was really good. Uh, boom, Chicago. Yeah. yeah, it was fucking sick. But they had like the Rick and Morty uh, people there, and they well, like free controversy. They fucking destroy, dude. Oh, nice. They are so fucking good. It's like fuck. I, I I missed doing it. So it was Justin Roiland was there? Who was there? I can't remember. It was a girl. I can't remember her name. Yeah, there was Seth a few. Meyer was there, right? In yeah, Seth Meyer. I missed him. He was there like the day before, or like like I landed and they left. Yeah, but Ruffin apparently was there. Uh, dude, it was a sick festival, dude. Like I, God, that was like one of the. I every podcast I talk about it. I don't know. It was awesome. You got. I can't wait for you to go. Yeah, like I mean, you have to go. I am, I'm on two shirts. I've never been. To, I've never been able to actually attend the festival. Dude, I'm I hand delivered shirts. that shirt from Amsterdam to fucking Santa Monica. Santa Monica. Yeah. And shout out to uh, Hostel International for doing that show. Dude, I want to do that show again too. It's, it's badass. a great show. Comedy in English every Tuesday and Saturday if you're in the Santa Monica area. I had to follow uh, fucking Sean, and I was like, 
Oh, oh yeah, the so guy's we, a fucking murderer, and he's also famous. I'm like, son of a bitch. We had, <laughs> uh, we had uh, Goldberg for the Mighty Ducks. Uh, it's so funny, Sean. I just looked on Instagram. Uh, Sean Weiss, who plays Goldberg, yeah, he had he put up an episode of Shane uh, and Dan Soda, Shane Gillis, because they referenced Goldberg. Oh, really? So it's great. That's fucking sick. And he's uh, you know, he's do- he's very funny. He's doing stand up. You know, they should let him open for them. Oh, he should be able to like. I've told him like you could like be able to jump on all these podcasts. Yeah. I think he doesn't. Uh, I think he'd like to do more. So, hey, if you're listening, hey, all the, your famous comedians. Uh, yeah. Dan Soder. Shane all the Soder, famous comedians to listen to this, such as Burt Andy Cass. Rice and maybe yeah. Josh Rittenauer. <laughs> Josh fucking, Rittenauer. Hey, book Sean Weiss. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I do. Dude, Half it, Indian. It was Half crazy. Indian. He fucking crushes. 100% crush. Like, it was like, damn, dude. Yeah. Like, sometimes you hear about, like, random people, like, in, in L.A. that, like, like TV people, yeah, and they're like, and yeah, they're ass. It, and they don't care. No, that guy's yeah. a straight-up murderer. Mm-hmm. Like, it's so good. I'm a He's fan. He's so quick, too, yeah. I'm a fan of that guy, oh, man. Well, we can try to get him yeah. on here one day. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Get him out here. Yeah. I gotta go back to L.A. I gotta do I loved L.A. I, I don't you're, know. You're thinking maybe of, you know. L.A. or, L.A. or, dude, Austin just is so much cheaper. It is, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. New York, it costs $200 to breathe air in New York. Yeah, I know. New York is, like, dirty as shit. Like, you know, like, I, I want a New York really we bad. We have garbage and, trains. That's yeah, it's pretty cool. We have the garbage train here. It comes here. <laughs> they actually did. So the Audi dealership, it's New York and New Jersey. They send their garbage, like, through somewhere to the Midwest. That's my Chicago. Yeah, it smells like fucking shit. So, yeah. like. I worked at the Audi store in the city, and we moved to this new location. They were super happy, and the day it opened up, the garbage train came through, and everybody's outside, huh, huh, because up against the train <laughs> yeah, oh tracks. God, it yeah, dude, it's. It, I don't think you have you have you been near the garbage train? The one in New York, I have. It is fucking the fi- Okay, just imagine it baking in like July, August sun for like I don't know, like the six worst hours. Swamp ass. I couldn't eat eggs for a week. It's yeah, like no, bad that's eggs horrible. And onions, and so. I do like eggs and onions. That's like a big part of my couldn't diet. Have, couldn't have East Coast pierogies. Yeah, dude. East Coast pierogies so much better. Well, I mean, at least Pittsburgh pierogies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody in Chicago is like, but she never had a pierogi before. It's like, motherfucker, we race them at our baseball games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Have to, yeah, dude, the, the pierogi race. The little pierogi is cute. Yeah, dude, I think uh, Derek might be amped on that. I don't know if he knows that. I gotta show him. Gotta show yeah, show him. I'm happy to hear you're doing stand up again. Shout out to listen. Derek for coming back. Strong style open mic every Monday. That was yeah. the best open mic, man. Yeah. That was like that was like one of my favorites. Like, even if I had a show, I would try to get over there. Oh, it was one completely it. like you, you. It didn't matter. Like you, you could hang at the lodge. You could do what you want, but you knew you were getting a good, good. Yeah, dude. Like literally, that mic would get more people than the other yeah. shows in the space. It was wild. Yeah, like a hundred percent. It was so good. I guess like he gave a, an open mic host who gave a fuck about. Yeah, two three in the morning, man. Fucking best open mic in front of the best wallpaper in the city. <laughs> <laughs> best hand painted wallpaper. Yeah, best hand painted wallpaper. <laughs> Shout out to the wallpaper. <laughs> Big ups to the wall. Yeah, dude. This is just riddled with inside. Side fucking, it's like a David Lynch movie. There's a lot of Easter eggs in there. You got to pay attention. Yeah, hell yeah. Read between the lines, listeners. Yeah. Oh shit, man. Well, we should probably go to bed. Yeah, we literally have to go to bed. We're, we're getting up the, in two and a half hours, three hours. Actually, yeah. we're getting up in two and a half hours. So I'm gonna drive him to. He's gonna ride the Greyhound. Ten hours, so I can listen to this podcast on the ride. Yeah, back. dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it up. I'm gonna upload it right after. So I'm gonna hurry up. I'm gonna half ass a fucking <laughs> upload. Yeah, just get it up so I can listen to myself. Yeah, dude. It's like the most masturbatory thing possible. Hell yeah. Hey, dude. that's the best way to do comedy. Be the most masturbatory comic. Yeah, ever. dude. So I do is jack off to myself. We have I got to. a I got a check from a comedy club and I framed it and it's on my bedroom wall. So every morning I can walk up and be like, I can do this. <laughs> you see the reflection of yourself in yeah. the check. Yeah, it's just like look at it. Oh, I got the reflection of us uh in that Andy Warhol. We went to the Andy Warhol Museum. Hey, shout out to the Warhol Museum. And then he has like an art piece called like what is it called? Like two men. Uh Two uh, two men stealing a garbage can. No, n- well, yeah, two men. No, it was a guy sucking another guy off. He drew it. It was fucking. It was hilarious. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember. And that. You just see our reflection, <laughs> like looking at it's it, like wild, heavy breathing here. It's called uh, "Do Yourself a Favor and Look Up Male Couple." It's from the 1950s. Draw with a ballpoint pen on Manila paper. Um, it looks like vandalism. Very yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's pretty pretty fat hog. <laughs> Yeah, look how thick that is. Oh, that's a thick boy, baby. Yeah, it's a thicken there. <laughs> that, no that hog th- could be uh, uh, killed and made and skinned into like three books. Pittsburgh comedian, the fans, uh, you may know Big Hoss. This is Big Hog. <laughs> big Hoss. Uh, shout out to Big Hoss. Yeah, Good big people. big daddy Hoss. Shout out to Big Hoss. Shout out to shout, hey. By the way, uh, Pratik show at Cantu's went swimmingly. That was great. Shout out to Brandon Cantu. 
Uh, Louis so Patron, much fun. Yeah. Uh, Nate and, and Nagavaro was on it. He's cool. Dude, it was like a really great show. Don't Tell Erie, fantastic, fantastic show, yeah. man. That lineup was pretty good, man. You, Kevin, uh, you know, his buddy Derek. It was like a good right? like journeyman lineup, lineup of like people from all over. Yeah, the good. fucking road dogs, dude. Road dogs. It felt like it was yeah. like a comedy like truck stop in a good way. <laughs> we got <laughs> Louis, his first show and second show that weekend. So that was pretty cool to see him. Uh, Louis Patron, very stretch this way. I got an action shot of him acting up beating off. So that's fucking very cool. I love that. You know, there's, there's there. And I'll say this seriously. Like, there is something about the, the excitement of the young comics in the Pittsburgh scene. So just keep it up, guys. Yep. And the old ones quitting. It's also great. <laughs> I okay. fucking love that. <laughs> the, the bitterness getting sucked out and the youth energy yeah. in yeah that's what you need all of you should quit <laughs> it's a comedy hadouken everybody. yeah hadouken it's a it's a comedy fucking get the fuck out of it <laughs> get the fuck out of it all right anyways um do you have any dates you want to announce coming up uh yeah i'll be in pittsburgh i'm doing a couple shows in pittsburgh uh april 3rd i'll be in pittsburgh april 3rd philly or pittsburgh nine. excuse yeah why do i keep saying pittsburgh, you're you're in pittsburgh your whole now. pennsylvania is the whole fucking yeah state. dude every uh, by the way every one of you people out there is like How's Philly? It's like, oh, it's five hours away. It's great, dude. It's I almost, went the other way, and I assumed yeah, Philly was Pittsburgh. Was Pittsburgh. So. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> That's you. how progressive I am. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I'll be that. in Philly for WrestleMania, so I'll be there April 3rd He's uh, for April 9th, uh, and I have a bunch of shows. Go to uh, Pratheek Comedy, P-R-A-T-E-E-K, comedy.com, at Pratheek Comedy on Instagram. Uh, I'm starting a movie review podcast with my parents. I'm shitting you not. No, dude, that's sick. It's called Cinerama with Papa and Mama. I shit you. It's just going to be them. That's I'm going to awesome. make them watch movies and then scream at me like, why'd you make me watch this dumb movie? It's hilarious. So that'll be coming out soon. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. Check out the special if you haven't. Nick and Sheila's Kid. And I'll be taping, taping my next special uh, in July. So Hell yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to go up Hell there. yeah, brother. All right, then for me, here's a couple of mine. Um, you know, uh, 329, I'm heading out to Indianapolis. I'm doing Don't Tell Indy with uh, yo, yo, one yo. very, very funny. Mm -hmm. Justin Powers, very, very funny. Joe Ferrero, yeah. he's coming all the way from Easton, PA. And then we're going to bounce over and we're going to do a show at a gangbang orgy club. So that'll be <laughs> fucking weird. All right. That's going to be a story. I'll be talking about that. Don't steal uh, the garbage cans. <laughs> uh, four one. I'm doing piss box in Morgantown. Great show Four four red eye festival Four five four six four seven. We got uh, Kai Harrell uh, and Layla from Angles Chicago, coming. Yeah. That's oh, going to yeah. be very funny. Mm -hmm. uh, 418. I am going to Toronto. Uh, to do uh, jazz moves and comedy grooves, which is pretty sick. And then oh, yeah. one more. Uh, in case you don't listen to the other ones, uh, 426, I'm headlining Jimmy's Place and uh, freaking, um, what's it called? Beckley, West Virginia. So I, uh, I'm i I'm a big, big uh, West Virginia guy. You know who Shout grew up in Beckley? Lovers. Morgan Spurlock of Super Size Me. Friend. Oh, hell yeah, <laughs> dude. I look like the end product of that. <laughs> you look like the guy who watched all the movies and learned yeah. nothing. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for listening. And if you started comedy prior to 2016 in Pittsburgh, quit. Thanks. Good night. <laughs>